All right, welcome back. The Power Showcase is an annual event at uh, Marlins Park that showcases the top power bats on the amateur level. That ball jump up. I mean, the skill set that these kids have, uh, it is so much fun to watch wow. these kids swing the bat. And the president and CEO of Power Showcase is our friend Brian Domenico, who joins us every year on the stove to talk about the event. Brian, good to see you. Thanks for coming on, as always. Talk about some of the names and, and what made your event this year such a success, as it always seems to be. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on again. And, and you know, it, it's a lot of fun to build that platform and, and have these guys come out. And a lot of these players you're going to see were guys that were returning uh, from last year or even two years ago. And when you compete on a stage like this, at least like the first year, you know, a lot of things go go through your system. You know what I mean? So you're trying to make uh, adjustments. And sometimes these lights are awfully bright and they can kind of swallow a player up. But I think those are the best, the best moments, you know, to kind of learn, reevaluate, and then come back the next year. Because, uh, again, a lot of these players, we get a chance to see some of the video of these guys. I can kind of give the backstory to these guys. And I think you guys will be really impressed. Well, looking forward to it, no doubt. Uh, we'll, we'll get the video here in a second. Once they roll it, you just take over. But uh, I, I tell you what, what age are we starting at now? I mean, these balls are flying out of here. Like, they look like grown men. Hey, truly the most impressive player we had was a six foot five power hitting lefty from Missouri named Caden Bogenpole, who was our featured world champion. I mean, he's six foot five, he's a six seven runner, throws 94 95 from the outfield, and that projectable frame can easily hold another 15 to 20 pounds. And it reminds me a lot of Corey Seeger. Back on April 29th on MLB, the MLB network, you were talking about how. Like the vocabulary of bat speed has just has left everybody, and it's all about launch angle, distance. It's 503 um, exit, feet. This kid hits right, the ball, right? Exit velocity, and you were talking about bat speed and Andrew McCutcheon and Vladimir Guerrero and Ricky Weeks and all that stuff. So a kind of light bulb went off, and I said, you know what? There's another really good uh, device out there that's blast motion that gets bat speed, rotational acceleration. So I reached out to them. And uh, they brought in one of their engineers, a guy named Todd Friedman. So we added that aspect to the event. And here's some interesting stats. There's a guy named Clayton um, Campadilly that you're going to see here, uh, where the, the top reading by a major leaguer was a uh, bat speed of 90 miles an hour. Campadilly was 88.1. Now, he hits this ball completely out of the stadium at oh 114 miles an hour. Yeah. I mean, an incredible talent, incredible talent. Wow. You've had you've had a lot of notable big leaguers. We're taking a look at some of the, the breakdown here for uh, for Clayton Swing. You've had guys, Bryce Harper, Daniel Vogelbach, uh, Tristan Cassis, who is, is waiting to bloom as a Red Sox, and a bunch of kids that have played in this thing, uh, competed in hit balls over 500 feet. And you had another couple of players join that club in this year's event. Yeah, there's a, a young man who, uh, to kind of bring up what I said earlier about guys that have come to the event multiple times, by Clayton Volcoma. He's a player who's Brazilian-born. Uh, the Brazilian Bomber is his nickname. And uh, he hits a ball up into the lights at 491 feet. And, uh, <laughs> Here he just, is. Oh, my gosh. Look at this dude. He's Prince Fielder. And, 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 and listen, yeah, yeah, he's a cross between, if you think about it, uh, Josh Naylor, who's with the Cleveland Guardians, yep. was also a Power Showcase World Champion. Daniel Vogelback was a Power Showcase World Champion. And I think you sprinkle a little move on in there. You've got you've got uh, Bolcoma, but he's only an underclassman. So so he'll be back. He'll how, be back. How, how the old other is guy, he then as an underclassman? What age does that put him at? I think, I think he's about 17 years old. He's got one more year to go. Yeah. One more year wow. to go. He's going to wipe out a catcher with that backswing. <laughs> I mean, wow. That is really fun to watch. So, so, so I was going to say, Brian, we're seeing you, uh, Matt named a bunch of players have gone on to be major leaguers or on their way. So it's not just a bunch of kids hitting homers. You've actually got pretty good baseball players competing in this. Yeah, I mean, the event has really evolved from like 2008 where I had one player 
the top power hitter from each of the 50 United States. And then the next year was when Harper came and the Yankees got involved and hosted Scout Day. And then the players wanted to play games. So it really encompasses everything that you want as a player. I mean, players want to be in a major league stadium. They want major access. They want limited numbers. You go to some showcases and there's 350 players. You know, at my event, there's 40, 40 per age group. And they got all, ma all the major league teams. They got the dinner. They have the derby. They play the game. Um, and I think the ones that, that start to come in at a much earlier age, it really does help enhance their baseball DNA, their overall baseball DNA. Mm. Impressive. Brian Domenico of the Power Showcase spending some time with us this morning to talk about the, the most recent running of his terrific event. Get out of the stadium here. My name's Nick Presto. We got a bunch of scouts from different clubs. We're gonna do defense first. We're gonna hit. We're on the 16th. If you're a pitcher, you go to the bullpen. It'll be a good, a good opportunity for you to get some experience doing it. just to show how much I've improved and changed within the last year. Players probably Ronald Cooney Jr. because I love watching him play right field and just throw because he has a really good arm and he hits really well. Most of my free innings that I'm pitching is going to be to get probably around three to four strikeouts and just let my defense work and not worry about having and not just stress so much and just have fun with them.
kind of chaotic, right? Peter comes in, throws strikes, has to pitch again. It has to pitch against us. But at the end of the day, went up there in the big league field, threw the left. He controlled his off speed, looked really good. Really good movement on him, and he's got a right future. Uh, three innings on a, mount, on a major league mound again, and you did him back to back to back out of field. It was a little stressful at the start, but then once I started getting my group, I really felt good. It was pretty fun. Good, yeah, you had three really good innings. What pitch was working best for you? Probably my curve. My curveball was a little iffy today, but it's my favorite, so I'd say it was working. Good job, bud. Thanks.